Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. That's what had to happen. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm sure you saw the title, so that's why I got this big ass smile on my face. You ever went somewhere and you were just like, I really hope they don't have anything in here because I know I'm not going to be able to resist buying. This place right here. I got a haul for you guys. Yes, another haul. Yes, I said I was going to stop shopping. No, it hasn't happened yet. And it's not going to stop anytime soon because my birthday is coming in March. So we're just going to jump into the video. Before we do, y'all know the drill. If you're new, thanks for clicking on my video and I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it is mainly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So, I'm ready to jump in these bags, show you what your girl picked up. Stay tuned and keep on watching. I don't remember what even triggered me to even look for this store, but it's 20 minutes from me and it's literally like five minutes from my gym. So I just decided to go. Today is Wednesday the 24th. Today is actually my son's birthday. Y'all have met him in my previous videos. Donovan is now 21. Grown ass man. So we're going to celebrate his birthday on Friday. But I went to the cosmetic company store on Monday. Y'all spent $500. Like I really was at the register and was like, let me see how much that is. Oh yeah, I got to get it. Let me see how much that is. I might as well get it like the, all, the whole time. And the dude was so patient. I'm grateful. And then I ended up picking up the wrong shade in a foundation that I bought. And I was going to return it yesterday. I got in a car accident. This lady was stopped coming out of a parking lot. And I, I mean, I'm just driving. Like the light is right there for me to turn. There is no way like her foot just slipped off the gas and she accidentally hit me like it looks like it was enough damage that she literally hit the gas and hit me so my car is probably going to be totaled i'll find out next week and i'll have to start looking for another one when it rains it pours but guess what there are rainbows and sunshine and i smiled yesterday because i had all this makeup to play in so let's jump in the bags. I'm not hurt, by the way. Thank you to everyone who has reached out and sent well wishes. I'm fine. I even deadlifted a few hours after the accident and I woke up this morning, no extra pain, no nothing. So thank you again. Let's talk about some makeup. I don't want this bag to be in the way that's good enough. So I picked up, I have never used MAC makeup wipes. And I heard so much stuff about them just from watching YouTube, but they're $30 a pack. Why would I do that? First of all, the only reason I use makeup wipes is pretty much for swatches. And then to turn around, I didn't realize how many were in the packs because like these simple wipes that I use, there are 25 wipes in here. These usually cost $4 a pack, $5 a pack. These MAC wipes, they had the Gently Off Wipes and Micellar Water. These are 80 in a pack. And then the regular MAC wipes are 100 in a pack. These are normally $30. I paid $6.75 per pack. So I got four of them. I will not need to buy makeup wipes again anytime soon. And I hope they're as good as people say they are because like I said, I bought four packs. So I hope they're good. But yeah, I just felt like I couldn't pass that up. They had MAC products um 60 to 75 percent off so while we're talking about mac let's just go ahead and stay on that train i also found this mac dazzle shadow liquid which i i don't check for mac i just don't there's so many brands that i love and i know mac is now in ulta so i do see some of their stuff but i'm never just like i want to try something mac so 
I felt like with these prices, it might make me want to dive back in. But this is in the shade Panther Tized. I don't want to say that wrong. This is a purple. But as you can see, it has a bit of a duochrome in it. It's almost like a gray green. I hope it's showing up. I'm going to swatch it and see if it does. But I saw the tester and I was just like, ooh, that is really, ooh, that is really pretty. Yeah, you definitely see the duochrome in that. So there you can see the purple. And then it turns almost like a greenish gray. I don't know. But y'all know me and duochromes. Anytime I can get it, I want to see it. So definitely happy I picked that up. The next thing I picked up from MAC is this Dazzle Shadow. This is in the shade Slow Fast Slow. This also looks like another kind of duochrome. So this is it here. And then you can see the different reflex in it. I hope you can see that. It almost kind of feels like a topper shade. I didn't swatch it in the store. They didn't have testers, of course. Yeah, it's kind of sheer, but it's still a really pretty shimmery color. So I thought it would be great to put on top of another like rose gold kind of shade, pinkish, goldish to kind of just amp it up a little bit. I also picked up another shade called I Like to Watch. I don't know what they was doing with these names. But this one is a kind of green gold. Y'all know how I love shades like this. I could not pass this one up. Also another duochrome. So you see there, like look how bright and shiny that is. I just feel like it had so much reflect to it and the shifts in it. I had to. It's really bright on my finger. But they're more, yeah, they're more like glitter toppers. So it doesn't show, of course, as pigmented as it does packed in the pan. But still beautiful shades. They just look more like toppers. So keep that in mind if you decide to pick them up. But they are gorgeous. I also picked up from MAC. I decided to try, I talked about how I haven't used their foundations in a long time. I picked up their Studio Fix Soft Matte Foundation Stick. I got the shade NC55. Now keep in mind, when you go to these stores, they don't have all the shades. They might have one, I think one brand only had like two shades. Um, they had the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and they only had one shade. So it just depends on what they have. And the guy said that they get shipments in regularly. They just never know what they're gonna get. But he was like, if you're looking for something, call me, ask. He was like, if you wanna know what, if I got any new Tom Ford in, call and ask. If you wanna know something about La Mer or whatever, just call and ask. So I thought that was really cool. But this is what the foundation looks like. It is a stick foundation. This is NC55. And I'm gonna swatch. It feels really dry. Ooh, I like that shade, I think. I kind of just had to go by what I could see, but I don't even know. Yeah, you can see it. That's it right there. So I think that's going to be a good shade match for me. Like I said, I hadn't had a chance to try a lot of MAC, so I was excited to see that they had something that looked like I could make it work. So now I get to try it again, and hopefully it won't break me out. Last thing that I picked up from MAC. Y'all, I know the price of this because I was like, I need it. It was $11.13. This little set came with this cute little sequin bag. Bag is cute, but I probably ain't gonna keep it. Gold is not my favorite, but this is really cute. It has little stars on it. This is called their Sprinkle of Shine Kit in Gold. This kit for $11 came with a brush, a lip gloss, and a highlighter. And I was like, man, I don't need any more highlighters until I found out what highlighter it was. It's Whisper of Guilt, y'all. And I know this is like an old, 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 old OG shade. I have it in a holiday kit when they did the Nutcracker set. I got the holiday kit that has the blush and the bronzer and that highlighter in it for that highlighter. So to be able to get the highlighter by itself, I feel like I'm really a makeup enthusiast now that I have this. So I think like the imprint in it is gorgeous. 
I guess I swatch it. Oh my God, it feels so smooth. And it is so gold. Yes. I am not even mad about it. $11 and I now can say I have Whisper of Guilt. Beautiful. And I'll just show y'all the, uh, the brush. This looks like a big old fan brush to be putting highlighter on with. This, it comes like this. Look how gaudy, Lord. That is a thick fan brush, very thick. But that handle is gaudy. I don't know if I will put highlighter on with that. That seems like it's big. Mm -hmm. That's what came with it. And then this gloss is in the shade Sprinkled in Twinkle. I never wear super glossy shades like this. Super glittery, I should say. Yeah, that is like, whoa. That is super glittery. It feels That's very sticky too. I can tell already. This is it up here. Smells good. Super shiny. That is definitely like special occasion gloss because I would not just wear this by itself every day. I also picked up a few things for Janet. If you guys don't know, Janet is my girlfriend. She was in the, oh Lord, that video was a mess. The drink, truth or drink video that we did. <laughs> that video was a lot. It was a lot, but I'm going to have her on the channel in the future. We've already talked about some stuff we want to do. But most of the time when I go shopping, for whatever reason, I am thankful that she likes to come shopping with me and she will like really give me feedback on, oh yeah, that's a pretty color. You should get it. Or uh, that one's all right. I think you have something better. So she decided to come with me to the store and they had Tom Ford fragrances and I saw the cologne. This is Tom Ford Costa Azura. First of all, I love this shade of blue. And usually if something says like Costa, Azure, um, Aquatic, anything like that, I tend to know I'm going to like the fragrance. It's just a matter of what they put with it. So this perfume, I'm sorry, this is a cologne. I love the way this smells. And I was happy because they had like three different versions of it. This one was 250 bucks. It was on sale for 112, I think is what we paid for it. So I was just like, I know you say you don't need it, but girl, for that price, are you really gonna pass it up? We gotta get it. So now you get to say you have a Tom Ford fragrance. I don't even have a Tom Ford fragrance. We are gonna have to fix that. She also wanted, she likes to use makeup removing wipes in general, just, I don't know. <laughs> That's part of her little routine. So she grabbed these Clinique Take the Day Off micellar cleansing wipes that I don't remember how much it was but I was checking out and she just came and sat it on the counter so got that and she also has really naturally curly hair and we found this bumble and bumble bb curl luminous oil spray and it says that it helps to define and get frizz free curls so something else she just threw in the basket and I was like all right whatever I'm sure it's a good price so we'll get it for you I did find two items from Smashbox. The first one was this Twist and Pout Always Sharp Lip Liner. This one is in the shade Nude Medium. I've never tried any of these and I'm not sure what this shade looks like because they had Nude Light out and that one was really light. This actually looks like it is going to be really pretty. You. I'll, it looks like it's retractable but anyway this is if you can see I feel like this is gonna look a lot like my Rimmel epic shade yeah, it's a little lighter than I thought it was gonna be but I think I can still make it work this is what the shade looks like so it's definitely a nude probably on my lips but better but it'll be good on a natural day or if I just I do have the outline of my lips is a little darker and I hate that. So I like to cover it with a shade like this that kind of looks like my lips just so it can be more of a uniform shade and it doesn't look so drastic. So this will be good for that. I was excited they had my shade in this or at least I think it's my shade. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 4.15. It says it's for skin tone dark with undertone cool. 
I don't normally buy cool tones, but I know sometimes they've worked out for me. And the other shades that they had did not match at all. So I just decided we were going to try to see if we can make this one work. I, oh, that's lighter than I thought. Okay. I was going to pick this up during the Sephora sale. They had it half off and then I wasn't sure about the shade. So I just didn't get it. And then it's currently on sale, but it's only like $2 lower than the normal $36 price. And I'm like, that ain't no damn sale. So, oh yeah, this is a good color. It's a color that I like. Oh, maybe I lie. As I am blending this out, it is looking a little orange. I'm sure I can make it work. And it does say that a little goes a long way with this. So like, it's so weird. This to me looks like that's two different shades. How am I tripping? Do you guys see that? This looks more gold and that looks more orange. So maybe if you don't use too much, then it'll actually look like that. I'm going to wipe some of this off and then just try to blend it out and see how it dries down. So I'll show you, I'll try to remember to show you guys in a little bit. That's it for Smashbox. I did also see that they had Estee Lauder in the store and I already have three bottles of Estee Lauder Double Wear and I feel like none of them match me. I was going to try to find a shade that I thought that matched and then I was just like, I'm not even going to do it. But they did have their Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup, which y'all know is right up my alley right now. This is in the shade 6C1 Rich Cocoa. I do know that this does not have nearly as many shades as the Double Wear, but this might be a little dark, maybe. I don't know. But I almost picked this up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. They had a sale on this and it was half off and I couldn't figure out what shade, so I ended up not getting it. So I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, this is very liquidy. This is definitely a cool tone not the other thing I swatched. Yeah, she a little dark, but it's all right. It's a lot dark. <laughs> oh, Barbara. So that's the shade right there. It is dark. We gonna make it work. So I don't know if you guys can tell, I wiped some of the Smashbox off and it is now dried down. So that shade looks really good actually, but that's too dark. I lost my mind when I saw they had La Mer. And not just the fact that they had La Mer, but also the fact that they had shades for me. When La Mer first came out, I picked up, let me tell you what I bought, the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. And this is in SP, this is shade 40 Dusk. And it says it's SPF 20. First of all, these shades, y'all, the way they named them, numbered them, and it's all out of order, like 400 is actually darker than 420 and 430. And, or no, 430 is really dark. I picked up 430 originally and it was way too dark. Like no way I could make that work. And then 420, I forgot the other numbers. I'm gonna have to tell, I'll put it on the screen, but it is insane. Like I had the worst time trying to figure out which shade to get. This one is a little red for me, I think, but I feel like I can make it work, but I'm just happy I could get La Mer. And now that my skin is not oily, I'll be able to wear it. This packaging is so luxurious. This was $125, I think. It was 30% off and I got an extra 10% off of it. So I ended up paying, I think like $78 for it was the final price. So definitely still worth it. It's a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be because I thought it was just like a watery foundation, but it's not. It definitely has some body to it. You can see the shades a little red. I'm gonna blot some off and see if I can show you like the other one. But shades like this, once they dry down, like I feel like I walked around with it on in the store because they did help me. It's still gonna be a little bit red, but I don't mind that at all. This has a smell. I could smell that with it not even by my face. I'm gonna make this work because y'all know I always do, but I was just happy to be able to get La Mer. So I think that was one of my favorite purchases of this trip. I also found some Too Faced. Like I said, they had a foundation in there. They did have the um, Born This Way concealers as well, but 
I wanted to get a lower, sh um, a lighter shade right now. I think I use butterscotch and it's like, it ain't bright enough for me. So I wanted to get a lighter one, but the other ones they had were too light. But I did see that they had one of their melted liquid lipsticks, their liquefied matte longwear lipsticks. And this is one of the ones from Holiday. It was limited edition. This is Gingerbread Girl. This is like a red, orange, kind of terracotta shade. And honestly, I just, I wanted it because I saw it. Oh no, she red. Why do I think that was? Oh, that definitely smells like gingerbread. I don't know why I thought this was more like a, maybe I'm thinking of another shade they had. They had gingerbread boy too, but this is more of a red, but I think that's a gorgeous color. I think I only have one other shade. I have, um, oh God, I can't think of it. It's the, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'm looking at it. It's the cool toned pink one that they have. I'll put the name on the screen. That's the only other one that I have in this formula. Y'all know my all time favorite is their liquefied melted lipstick in Chihuahua. That's like my perfect love that shade goes with anything for me. So I just wanted to try a different shade of this and yeah, it's a red. This right here made me so happy. They actually, when I Googled this, it says that it was a gift set that they had on the Home Shopping Network. Well, I don't care. I do not care. It was a whole eyeshadow palette and a better than sex mascara a lip gloss and a brush and this whole thing was twenty dollars the mascara by itself is twenty six dollars so put it in the bag put it in the bag that's what had to happen there is a ultra plush lip gloss and this is in the shade does it say a shade maybe on the back Oh, PSL. It does say that on there. <laughs> PSL Pumpkin Spice Latte. That is the name of the gloss. So that is what it looks like right there. Really pretty with some gold reflect in it. I'm not going to open this yet. Then, like I said, the Better Than Sex Mascara, which I do have and I do use. I do think it flakes, but I love the volume that it gives. So it's also a full size of that. And then there's a brush, which I don't have any Too Faced brushes. I thought this was going to be more of like a round buffing brush, but it's kind of flat. I don't know if you can see, like it kind of gets a little flatter there versus this way. So it'll be for a lid shade for sure, or maybe just kind of in the crease. You can use brushes how you want. There's no right or wrong way. But this eyeshadow palette though, they had it out so I could actually see what it looked like. I did not get the um, pumpkin spice eyeshadow palette that's in the tin. I didn't get it. This is so cute. Try not to blind y'all. Definitely very fall appropriate, very pumpkin very just warm toned i love it i hope these shadows are good i will definitely use it and let you guys know let's swatch a couple what do i want to swatch we're gonna swatch let's swatch some matte so caramel apples oh that's dark yes yes extra toasty and slow burn these three shades here and y'all know how I swatch I ain't digging my fingers in there <laughs> from my last video y'all saw what I think about that these do have a scent it has a little bit of a scent it's supposed to be pumpkin spice scented as well and then let's swatch some of the shimmers I have to do cinnamon spice because I just think that is gorgeous yes indeed nooks and cranberries dream big is the shimmery shade this is Slow Burn. Oh, they are very powdery, so you got to be careful with that. Um, extra Toasty. That is so pretty. And then Caramel Apples. So those are the mattes. And then we have Dream Big, which is kind of just a topper shade. It's super glittery. And then 
cinnamon spice in the middle and then nooks and cranberries on the outside. Some nice shades. I'm not sure. I'll have to compare it to my, I do have the Too Faced Peach Palette. That's the, only, I'm gonna have to double check. I think that's the only Too Faced Palette that I have. But I wanna check to see how this formula compares to that because I know a lot of times I've heard that people say the holiday sets don't have as much pigmentation or they don't blend out as well. Like the formula is just not the same as the regular palettes. So I will let you guys know about that. But this is my first holiday set that I've ever bought. All right, I had to take a break because I had to go answer the door. I will show you guys what I got in a second because it goes right in line with this. The last four products that I purchased are all from Tom Ford. I do not have any Tom Ford eyeshadows and I have been eyeballing and eyeballing and I was like, okay, next 20% off sale at Sephora, I'm getting it. Next sale, next sale. And I'm just like, I can't do it. I will pay for Pat, but how many shades are you getting? 10. You're paying $88 for four shadows. Who's doing that? Not I. No, will not. So they had three quads in stock and I bought all three of them. And then they also had his foundation. This is the Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation. This says it has SPF 50 in it as well. First of all, I could never use this. I'm going to use it. Don't get me wrong. But I could never use this and just let this bottle sit on my vanity. Like, look how gorgeous this is. I don't remember what the original price was on this, but I paid $58. I think this shade is gonna be okay from what I remember. Yeah, this shade is good. Oh my God, yes. It has a little bit of a scent to it, not bad. I don't know why I keep pumping out so much foundation. This is what the shade looks like. I'm gonna dab some off and let it dry down. Guys, this shade is like perfect. It is absolute. I know it looks a little red, but my foundations always look like that when I put them on, y'all already know. But I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just, I'm, it's time for it. That's all. I'm just feeling fancy. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the eyeshadow quads. I need to calm down. I can't help it. Okay, so the first one I picked up, I knew I was going to get this one. This is the one that I've always looked at. This is number 26, Leopard Sun. I love that they come with these little bags. Every single one of them comes with these little like microfiber bags. The packaging, I got my grubby fingerprints on it because I have looked at this so many times, but I have not swatched it. Same packaging, gorgeous, brown and gold. And then look at these shades. Now I will admit that I did think from, see it even looks darker on camera. This brown is not, it doesn't look that dark. It just, I don't feel like it does. But these shades, I don't wanna swatch it. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna swatch this. I'm not swatching nothing until I put it on my eyeballs. Look how gorgeous that is. Like perfect everyday nude. So that one was the one that I was like, I need to get this. And then when I realized that I was only going to be paying $38 a quad, I grabbed all of them. This next one is in the shade Daydream number 28. And this also comes with some little brushes. These brushes, I don't know. They don't look bad. There's a little foam on one end and then the brush on the other end and the other one has a foam, two foams, but one's a little more pointed to use for like uh, doing your liner or if you wanna do whatever you wanna do with it. I'm too excited. Uh, come on. So this is what this one looks like absolutely gorgeous this purple i feel like it's looking a little more blue on camera but it is definitely a purple and then this is like a dark navy and then like a light purple satin and then like a champagne color beautiful y'all know i love purple so i was just like i mean i gotta get it this last one was kind of just like a you know what i'm gonna get it because it's 38 dollars and why not this is in the shade, this is the Tom Ford Extreme Quad. No, I don't know the difference other than it is silver. And this is in the shade Badass. 
Now, the only thing that kind of concerns me is I went, so then I'm like, okay, now I have Tom Ford. Let me go watch some reviews. And I did hear some people say that this was one of their least favorites, but to each their own, not everything that doesn't work for somebody else won't work for you. So I'm not mad at all that I got it because I think these cord colors are gorgeous and this would make a really beautiful smoky eye. So yeah, that is what this one looks like. So then I went on the hunt because I was like, I wonder if there are other ways to get these eyeshadows without paying full price. You know me and I love a sale. So I went on Amazon and I pray to God that this is not like some BS fraud eyeshadow because I'm going to be upset. I think I paid, this one was $49.88 and I had a $25 gift certificate. So I decided to use it for this. And of course I can't open the bag and pray it is not broken because this packaging is trash. So this is in the shade Super Nouveau. So, I mean, it has the same box, same packaging. It looks a little different than the picture. In the picture, you can see here, this shade at the bottom kind of looks more burgundy brown. This is a lot lighter than that. But there is a black and a silver. So I got this one because I felt like it would make a really pretty cool toned look. And this is supposed to be one of the better ranked ones. But again, I had a gift certificate and I just thought it would be a good way to add to my collection. So I went from none to now have four Tom Ford eyeshadow quads. And I do have one more coming in. The last two things that I got, didn't know I was going to get these. These were gifts with purchases. This is the Estee Lauder Micro Essence Skin Activating Treatment Lotion says it's for all skin types and it says activates foundation of your most youthful looking skin i feel like it's probably a toner it's an essence okay essence lotion i don't know what that is Ooh, that's fancy look at that bottle okay babe yeah it's a toner and it's sealed so that's cool but yeah this I think was $110 and it was a free gift. And then the last thing is this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is a Synchronized Recovery Complex 2, proven to reduce key signs of visible aging, yada, yada, yada. So I have seen this all over the place and this is a cult favorite. So I cannot wait to put this to use. Because as we know, Barbara is battling fine lines and dark spots. So hopefully this will help. So that's everything that I picked up in my haul. Y'all, I know it's ridiculous. I just, I mean, can you blame me? If you're a makeup enthusiast and you have something that you have wanted for a long time and you finally find it and you can get it at a big discount, are you really going to pass it up? I mean, really, I'll wait while you try to tell me you would. I didn't think so. I just... I was like a kid in a candy store. So now the biggest thing for me is to not be going in that store every week because your girl has to buy another car, number one. But number two, like my collection is already big enough and it'd be different if I was getting PR, but this is all my money. So we're not going to go crazy, but I will keep you guys updated. Of course, if I buy anything else. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I do have another haul video coming. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I have stuff that I'm waiting for that has not come in yet because of the snowstorm. So you'll probably see another haul video soon. If you're new, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, everybody, not just new people, give this a thumbs up. But new people, hit that subscribe button too and join the family. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.